All right, we're back now on I-70 westbound downtown Topeka. Uh, what can you tell me that's going on here? Basically, we had uh, three vehicles that were westbound on I-70. Uh, this white SUV as well, the black pickup truck, and there was a, a maroon uh, passenger SUV as well. Uh, the maroon SUV and the white SUV made contact in the fast lane. Um, as it did, the white Suburban went uh, to the right as it lost control, and the black truck struck the, uh, the white Suburban as it went across the lane to the barrier. So where, how far down is the maroon vehicle there? Uh, the maroon vehicle is a little ways down the road. I don't know for sure how far down the road it is. Is it disabled also? No, it's not. It sounds like it's got minor damage to it. Oh, okay. And just a scary situation because there's a pretty big drop off right there. So we're glad. Any serious injuries that we know yeah, of? Yeah, it sounds like everything's pretty minor. Okay. All right. Well, everybody, just take it easy out here, right? At this yes, point, sir. Yep, slow down. Let us do our job. Okay, Adam. Thank you, my friend. Thank Have you. a good day. All right. Bye-bye. Big heard from Adam Winters or the Kansas Highway Patrol spokesman here. We have this crash, and again, you'll see a lot of cars back behind here that are just slowing down. Just again, when you see these situations, I know most of you do this, but just give them a break, slow down so we can have no further accidents. Apparently, there was a third vehicle that is now back the way to the west. So we are eastbound on I-70, just to the uh, east of uh, Southeast 10th Street. So again, east, uh, we're, uh, excuse me, we're on westbound I-70. I'm gonna give you a panoramic view just to show where we're at. Westbound I-70, just east of Southeast 10th Street and the exit to Southeast 10th Avenue. So here's where we are. You'll see, the, the, this will look real familiar to you now that you see where we're at exactly. As you can tell, there's a big drop off down below here, the railroad tracks down below. So we're glad that this barrier wall was here and did its job. And again, we have the white SUV here, it's a Chevy, and we have a Ford, black Ford, uh, looks like a, uh, a possibly an SUV there also, or pickup truck. Again, then the third vehicle is further down the road. We'll have more information on this shortly on cgonline.com, but again, we're here at the scene and again, lots of crews are out here, American Medical Response Ambulance, Speak of Fire, Ken High Patrol's worked in this crash. So we should have more information here in a short period of time. Somebody wonders where we are, that's where it is. Uh, we just said again for the last time here as we sign off, we are westbound I-70, just east of downtown Topeka on a curve here. We're on an overpass looking straight down here. You can see there's a pretty good drop off right below us here. And then again, just to show you where we are, is there's downtown Topeka just behind us over here to our west. So we hope everybody's okay. I do believe we heard of a couple people going to St. Francis. We don't know the extent of injuries at this point. We're hoping nothing too serious. And again, that's the story from downtown Topeka. Do go slowly. If you come by here, stay out of this area for the next half hour if you can. They're gonna get these crews out, or get these vehicles out here as soon as possible. I just saw a uh, wrecker pull up here. Actually, I think I see two wreckers back behind us here. So they're gonna get these vehicles out of here in short order. Reporting from downtown Topeka, Phil Anderson, cjonline.com.